The project of the century, the new rail link through the Alps, is about to be successfully completed. With the Godhard base tunnel already in operation, the focus is on the completion of the two tubes through the 15-kilometer Chenery base tunnel. In the summer of 2020, SBB will start testing the electrified tunnel. Then, trains will be traveling straight through the Alps at up to 250 kilometers per hour. Until then, however, Europe 10, an expert in overhead line construction, will have a lot of work to do. For the installation of the overhead conductor rails, around 60,000 holes must be drilled. They're needed for the 4,500 anchors, the entire railway earthing system and the wiring technology. The contact line materials alone amounts to more than 1,000 tons, supplying, depositing, loading and installing. To meet the deadline, the teams of nine people each work in a two-shift operation. At six in the morning, the first team enters the tunnel with the equipment. A shift changeover takes place at 2.30 in the afternoon via the second tube. At 10.30 at night, the construction gang leaves the tunnel. The optimally adapted assembly unit remains in the tunnel the entire time. The HTW100E3 tows it. Rudolf Vank, project manager at Europe 10, is highly satisfied with the hybrid drive of the HTW100E3 as it increases the working comfort. It runs quietly and does not cause emissions in the tunnel. In addition, the exact control of the machine's working speed improves the installation quality. Europe 10 has been using Plaza and Tyra machines since the early 1980s, when the first motorized vehicles from the MTW series were produced. Today, Europe 10 works with the best catenary renewal machines available on the market, such as Plaza and Tyra's MTW 100-216 and the HTW 100-E3 with hybrid drive. <laughs> 